Hey there, short video on the Eero PoE Gateway, PoE 6, external switch, and how to install it to your existing internet service provider. All right, so let's jump right into this. So as you can see, I've got a nice little graphic that's starting to pop up in the background. At the end of this video, I've got links to both our Eero PoE Gateway video as well as the PoE 6 access point. Both those we're going to go over in this video. And so step by step, let's start working through this. So we're going to assume that you have internet service provider coming to your house, uh, home, office, so on. And along with that, that company is going to have sent to your house what we call a strike. They're going to have a a fiber, an RG6, maybe a, a Cat6 cable coming from uh, the pole, maybe underground in your neighborhood. That's going to feed the internet service from them to your home. So in this example, we're using an RG6 because our example is going to use an Xfinity cable modem. So the way that works, as you can see in the diagram, is that they have sent that from their pole to the side of the home. And then from the side of the home, in this example, we're going to run that RG6 going to go into your office. Number one step on this, at some point, you need to put your modem into bridge mode. I like to do that quite quite frankly right off the bat, just get that cable modem into bridge mode. Here we are showing the RG6 connection into the bottom of the cable modem. You're going to use some Cat6 network cables. Those are provided with the Eero. And then along that, we've got an optional unmanaged switch. Maybe you've got more ports needed for hardwire connections in your home or you've got a lot of devices. So we got that sitting up top there. Of course, we got our Aero PoE gateway, so that's an 8-port PoE. It's also got a port number 9 and a port number 10. Those are your two 10G ports. And then, of course, the PoE 6s, so those are going to mount on your ceiling, on your wall. Those are hardwired. Those are not wireless. These are the hardwired connections. And as you can see, we're going to connect it all together. So from your cable modem out, we're going to run into port number 9 on the Aero gateway. Port number 10 is going to go to port number 1 on the optional switch. And then the PoE switches, it really doesn't matter which ones you're going to do. So let's just say we're going to do, uh, I believe that's going to be ports 3, 5, and 7. Let's run those things out. Those are going to run out to your PoE access points. And that completes your wiring on this system. So literally is that easy. There's not much to it. Follow the diagram. Follow our simple steps. Comment if you have any questions below. This is just a simple step-by-step -step setup of the Eero Gateway Router. You're going to want to have your modem from your ISP put in bridge mode. You're going to want to let your Eero do all your routing capabilities. You're going to have your PoE outs out to your access points, your PoE 6s, and you're off to the races. Uh, quick setup step as far as the Eero Pro Gateway goes. Uh, you have to have the Eero app on your phone. You have to have Bluetooth enabled. You cannot set that up through Eero Insight or online. It has to be done through the Eero app. All right, thanks a lot. Short video. Have a good day.